Hey guys. So in basic, this video will be some introducing video on my batteries which I work right now. So because I have a lot of work, uh, I mean I spend a lot of work uh, in this battery tech. Right now I currently work on three battery designs. I play with nickel or nickel based batteries. But this one is not some nickel, 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 nickel based battery. This is some aluminium battery. Uh, actually, I don't know how to how to name it uh, this battery because uh, this one can be some aluminium ion battery and also some aluminium air battery. Mm, maybe some aluminium ion air battery. <laughs> okay, yeah, in basic, uh, this battery cell I make uh, two weeks ago, and this cell have one volt. This battery is sitting here for two weeks, and I cannot, uh, I cannot say that this cell have any, any degradations. So because if I look into the voltage, the voltage is one volt. And the one volt was two weeks ago and one volt is right now. So what is really interesting on this battery, uh, the electrolyte is really, really stable. Uh, the electrolyte don't evaporate in the air uh, and also the electrolyte don't damage the aluminium. In this stage I cannot say if this battery is rechargeable or not, but, 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 uh, I charge and discharge this cell anyway. I make around uh, five to six cycles and yeah. Always I get one volt uh, and no damage on aluminium. So this is the electrolyte which I use in this cell. Uh, and yeah, more details about this battery uh, probably I will post on Patreon. Uh, but anyway. That's it. This is the aluminum based battery. Uh, let's go to the next battery. So here I have uh, two cells. Uh, and these two cells, I mean these two batteries are nickel based batteries. On this one I work uh, also in the past but I don't post any videos on YouTube about this cell uh, but right now uh, I redesigned this cell and make some new tests uh, so this one is some hybrid nickel ferrite battery or also uh, known like Edison battery here I test the stability of uh, this battery uh, because I tried to figure out uh, what will be the, the self discharge rate on this on this nickel ferrite battery and yeah 1.4 volts but if you connect to some load will drop to 1.2 volts and here here I have some uh, nickel zinc based battery so it's also some how to say some different design uh, like I used before this one is brand new so I cannot tell you a lot about this battery because right now I make only one uh, only one cycle with this one and yeah 
I also make a nickloxy hydroxide, which is the active material of these two uh, batteries. And yeah, I mean, a lot of work. Uh, so guys, that's it and we see us in the next video. Bye.